Fifth County Commissioners say they want to avoid raising taxes for a third year and an additional penny sales tax could help with that. They call it an OLAWS. Epicasaurus explains how commissioners hope a tax on goods in Bibb County could roll back property taxes, but there's already debate on how much. Greg George teaches economics at Middle Georgia State College, but he took a break from the classroom to school commissioners on a potential OLAWS to make up for a shortfall in funding. Whether you do that with property taxes, I mean the point is you're going to have to raise taxes if, you're, if you have a shortfall. He says an OLAWS or penny tax on goods in Macon Bibb could bring in $30 million in revenue next year, but commissioners couldn't decide how to spend the money. I won't support a 100% rollback. I think there are too many opportunities for us to do good. Commissioner Elaine Lucas supports using half of the money to roll back property taxes and wants commissioners to figure out what to do with the other half. And I think anything we can do to grow the economy will not only make us more pro more prosperous, but will also make us safer. So that's just... District Attorney David Cook asked for OLAS money for a wellness program for teenage girls that he says would cut down on crime. If those funds are not 100% directed to roll back property taxes, we shouldn't vote for it. Valerie Wynn doesn't agree. She says they need to do something to give back to taxpayers, considering they're paying for the county's overspending. The city needs to be working on saving money, cutting expenses. The Sunday election, that's another $5,000. We're close to spending $100,000 today of money we didn't have budgeted. But first, the OLAS must pass the state legislature in the spring. A vote from people in Macon Bibb, and then commissioners could vote to decide what the money would go for. In Macon, Abby Casores, 13 WMAZ News. Commissioners also approved $90,000 to run the Little Richard House in Pleasant Hill as a community center, $5,000 for Sunday voting, and changes to the county's trash collection contract.